SVG files are becoming more and more popular on Xe. And if you are unfamiliar with SVGs, they are scalable vector graphic files that can be used to create detailed images and graphics. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create SVG files that you could use to sell on Xe. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so here we are on the back end of Canva. And what makes this Canva app really great is that if you have like any files like JPEG or PNG files that you purchase and you're trying to change those files into an actual SVG, you actually could do this with this particular app, which makes it really, really great. You could turn them into sharp vectors and you could use them for projects and stuff of that nature. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna upload the design that you are working with. So I just uploaded this one just as an example. So let's say that I'm working on this design, I wanna convert it into an actual vector or SVG, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to apps and you're gonna search for tracer. Go ahead and search and you're gonna click on this one right here, the first one that you see. Now from here, it's gonna say upload or select an image. I already have the image here, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it. This is the image that I wanna design or create it into an SVG. So once you have the actual design, it's gonna ask you the output. Do you want black and white or do you want full color? You could do either one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on full color. And then I'm gonna to go to trace image. This is gonna take a few minutes to do this. And once it does, it's gonna turn it into an SVG. All right, so here we are. It turned it into an actual SVG. And now what you could do is you could go ahead and delete this one if you wanted to, the actual file, go ahead and delete it. And now you're gonna add this to your design. And here's the file, you could stretch it out, you could make it bigger and it will keep the quality of the actual file. You can also change the color if you want to as well. If you click on edit and you could play around with these different filters if you want to, or you could just go to adjust and here you're able to change the temperature. You could make it lighter or brighter contrast, change highlights, shadows, and down here you're able to change the actual color. So if I went here, I could play around with this and I can make this any color I wanted to. So as you can see, this is really great because if you have vector files and you wanna make them different colors, you could do that. As you can see, I'm changing it to pretty much any color that I want. And you could change the saturation, you could say change the brightness, you could play around with textures also, make it you know more sharper if you want, um, clarity and so much more. If you make any changes that you really don't like, you could just click on reset adjustments and it will go back to the normal. But as you can see, you could definitely come in here, play around with this and just change it to any color you want. I have done this with flowers where I purchased a specific color and I wanted to make them from red to maybe light blue or like pinkish and you could do that. You could play around with this and do it. There's so many things you could do with this particular app, but it's just gonna save you so much time and energy, um, especially if you're trying to create SVG files and it's free, so why not use it? That's how simple it is to create SVG files. If you enjoyed this video or have any additional questions for me, please drop them below and make sure to watch these additional videos in the screen to grow an impactful online business. Thanks for watching.